Do you guys see what's missing here? I bought an Apex Neptune system, so I didn't have to do this anymore. So I got a little complacent. I've been looking at my Apex dashboard to see what my Trident values are without actually opening them up. And after around day four, I realized something was terribly wrong. So I decided to investigate. I had a red warning that no reefer wants to see. No test in 24 hours. So I did what any person would do. I got on the Neptune's Facebook group and started to ask questions. To my surprise, this system update crashed several people's units, not just mine. I made a post and got a lot of responses. One guy, he even walked me through a step-by-step -step process on how to reset the system, which was a little out of my comfort zone, but he really helped a lot. Eventually I tried to reset it, which ended up in an even worse error. So I did what everyone else suggested. I reached out to Neptune customer support. It didn't take long for them to get back to me. The customer service representative asked me a few questions and we had a back and forth for a few days. He told me that I needed to send him a picture of the model number. And with this information, he was basically able to confirm that my unit was indeed trash. So normally Neptune charges a $300 security deposit for warranty related issues such as mine probably to protect themselves, honestly, because these units are very expensive. However, my rep dropped that down to $100 due to the delay. Sure, it sucks that the brain of my tank is down, but you know what? Neptune lives up to the Reef Atlantis standards and took care of me swiftly and accurately. It just goes to show, when you spend the big bucks, you get taken care of. So as you guys know, I added a third Vipar Spectra Aquarium light. If you haven't already, check out the review video we did on the light last week. And always, swim on down to that like and subscribe button so we can continue to bring you this wonderful reefing content. Reef Atlantis was starting to run into a similar problem it had with the smaller tank. While Vipar Spectra's lights did a tremendous job, this tank just needed more light spread. Most of the coral had slowly moved towards the center of the tank and they were fighting for light. The Indonesian bubble was sagging forward, the anemone tree was jumping towards the light, and my donut just wasn't happy. By adding in the middle light, I was able to get all of the coral to stay in their original positions, which was my goal from the beginning. I don't know if you can tell, but we had to get rid of about 20 rose bubble tip anemones. While the tank light helped keep them on their side of the tank, they simply had too big of an army. Now I know what you guys are thinking. This guy threw 20 rose bubble tip anemones down the garbage. I didn't. I go to the best reef store in Southern California and my boy John at Pet World in San Bernardino took all of them in for store credit. So if you're looking for a rose bubble tip from Reef Atlantis, why don't you guys take a trip on down to Pet World, ask for John and tell them Ryan sent you. Naturally, I went on a spending spree. Those rose bubbles were able to get me holy grail torch, blue spotted jawfish, a stunning maxima clammy clam, two frags, small mushroom, and an acorn lord frag. So that's it for this video. Enjoy some beautiful reef roll and always keep on swimming and I'll see you guys next time.